so sorry about that good morning everybody um and um okay thank you for confirming that you can hear and see me it's looking a little weird on my end but we'll just we'll just keep going so ricardo wilkins here modern work csm microsoft and um here to do cute uh, cute office hours right uh, champions using teams effectively as always feel free to put questions in the chat but this is just a weekly time fridays 11 a.m to just come and geek out on teams especially if you are uh, uh, one of the many that are making that final transition off of skype into teams in preparation for the deprecation of skype uh, that's how this kind of originally started is trying to be a platform for uh, those who need help with that transition <clears throat> so i'm definitely here to take questions uh, throughout but as always i try to have something to chat about and i do i think i i think i do have something to chat about today um go down here i was just uh i was answering a question from a customer and it uh started getting into a conversation about one-to-one -one or group chat in the chat area here as you can see and storing or sharing files with folks and some different scenarios that arise when you do that um so let me for instance show us show a couple of things and see if you've ever come across this experience so as always in my demo environment here um, let me go full screen with the uh, environment um, as you can see here or in this demo environment i've got myself but I've also got a few other personas here. The administrator, Deborah or Nestor and Deborah. So I know it's a little crowded on the screen, but uh, hopefully this, this, uh, you can work with me here. So the scenario is one where I'm having a conversation with someone sharing a file. And if you've ever shared a file in, in a chat, one, you may know that using OneDrive behind the scenes, but two, you share that file and the people that you're chatting with are able to see it as, as one would expect. But what about when you then add another person to that chat? What is their experience? So let's take a look at that. So um, I'm going to start up a group chat here. Um, let's uh, start up a chat. Uh, when I do my group chats, I like to name them just so people know so um, sharing demo let's say and I'll put the administrator and Nestor in here and then I'll have Deborah come in later so there's my users name of a file or name of the chat and I'll just kind of tell them and make this a little bigger here I'm gonna share a file with you um, and so, you know, Nestor and the administrator are getting those chats, right? You can see here they're, they're already a part of the chat, so they're seeing it. There's the administrator, there's uh, Nestor. Okay, so everybody's good. So I want to sh uh, share or attach a file. I could do it from OneDrive or upload from my computer. Let's, let's just upload for the sake of this one. Got a little PowerPoint there that I'll upload. Now, in this case, um, actually, let's let's cancel that because I I had done this demo before with that file, so let's do a different file so we don't get a weird experience. Let's do this one here. Okay, so it's uploading it, essentially uploading it to my OneDrive account, and then also making the appropriate permission changes so that the people in this chat can see it. So I'm going to say here's the file. Uh, obviously no one can see it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and hit send. And now 
people like Nestor are seeing this file in the chat. And they're clicking it. And as you would hope and expect, they're seeing the, the file, able to see it, in this case, even able to edit it as well. Okay, so all is good, all is working as expected. And then, so the administrator, Nestor, and myself are talking, looking at this file, realizing that Deborah should be a part of this conversation. So let's add her. So I add someone to the conversation. I'm going to add Deborah, and I want to include all the chat history. Okay. I'll go over to Deborah's. Deborah's persona here, she's now been added. She sees, you know, you can see she's added. She can see previous conversation and she can see the thumbnail of the file. And so when she goes to check it out, you don't have access to this file. And some, I've had some customers consider that, a, you know, what's wrong here, but the way I think about it is, I, Ricardo, shared this file at 1106 with um, Nestor and the administrator. At that time, I wasn't necessarily sharing it with anyone else, right? So, although I happen to have added Deborah myself, but essentially, um, I feel like Teams is saying, I'm not going to assume that you want to share it with all other people that are added to this chat henceforth, now and forever. So I feel like that's why it's uh, making it uh, not immediately available. And in fact, as we uh, let's even take a look at the chat, the meeting experience, because certainly we can turn our group chat into a meeting with one click. Let's call on everybody. Let's, let's start to answer. Here. Guess maybe get everybody to answer. All right, so that. Um, Chat has now become a meeting with everybody in it. And if I go over to the chat of the meeting, I can still see the chat in the files. And so, for instance, if De or let's say um, Nestor takes a look at chat, he, he sees it all. He sees that Deborah's added. He goes and tries to look at the file. He's still he's still able to see that. Meanwhile, Deborah sees all the chat. Even sees the uh, thumbnail, but again, doesn't have access. OK, so uh, let's take a look at why, right? Remember, I just uploaded it here to the chat area. I didn't have to do anything related to sharing or file permissions or anything. So if I wanted to take a look, and there's, there's many ways to kind of get to where I'm going here, but uh, let's go ahead and open it in browser. I want to check out what, what permissions are actually on this thing. So I'm going to go to the folder where it's residing. So you can see it there. So if you've never looked at this, you know, when you're up, when you are sharing files in a chat, it's using your OneDrive as there's actually a folder in your OneDrive files called Microsoft Teams chat files made automatically for you in order to share these files out. So these would be other files I've shared in other chat sessions uh, here. The one I'm interested in right now is this Q&A maker. If I come here and take a look at the access, you can see that right now the access is myself, of course, and administrator and Esther. That makes sense. That was the original share that I did in the original chat with those original people. But adding Deborah to that chat did not automatically add her to permissions. So I can certainly, you know, I always say, you know, while Teams tries to take care of permissions for you, if you do need additional permission, file permission kind of things, you can always jump into SharePoint, jump into OneDrive, and, and as I would say, go old school. I mean, I've, I've been doing SharePoint a long time. So coming into a file and looking at its permissions and changing them, adding, removing, um, that's kind of what I'd call old school, you know, or just a, the traditional way. So I could certainly manually add anyone here. In fact, um, you know, I may have shared this file in a, in a Teams chat for those Teams people, but I could also come here and share it with uh, another person that the chat don't chat people don't even know about. I mean, it, again, I'm, I have control of my files as always, even though Teams is uh, kind of layer on top. So 
could add her directly. It would be one way of doing it and a perfectly valid way, especially if you're comfortable with this. Um, the way I was discussing it with a customer is and, I, and I'll get out of this meeting. I was really just showing that to just show the same chat and files are there in the meeting and and working the same way. But let's go ahead and end this meeting for everyone. Come back to the chat. Um, another potential way of doing this is to just re upload the file. Because if the definition of kind of sharing in this chat is I teams will share it with whoever's in the chat currently. Now that Deborah's added, if I re add, it should uh, should make it work. And I, previously when I've shown this to folks, I've actually added a new file right here. Same file, I should say, but re upload it here and that that works. The challenge there. Um, uh, Let's just do it that way for simplicity's sake. So let's go ahead and upload it again from my computer. Same file. And you'll see that Teams tells me the file already exists. Why is that? We just saw the folder where we know Teams is trying to put this. We know that it ex already exists. Um, and so I do have an option to make a separate copy that I, that's, I could see some validity to that scenario as well. But in this case, I just want to replace it. So I'm going to replace it. And in this case, I would say uh, something like resharing for Deborah. The reason I'd say that while it's obvious here because there's not a lot of space between my original post and my new one, if we had, if I had shared this file and then we did a lot of chatting in between and then Deborah's added and I want to reshare, um, you know, you wouldn't necessarily see this as part of the chat and people in the chat might wonder why is why are you re uploading this file that I've already seen? So I'm just um, trying to be clear there. In fact, as a as a customer just reminded me earlier this week, um, the key is uh, I should at mention as well. So I'm going to reshare for Deborah. She's going to get an extra notification about that. I'm going to go ahead and hit hit send. So let's check out Deborah's experience now. Uh, come over here. So she's still in the chat. She's seeing both files, resharing for Deborah. So she should have gotten that notification there. And let's see if she can open it now. So she clicks it, and life is good. And in fact, even the previous one opens as well as we just saw and understand that that's the same file. Uh, had I chosen the keep both option and put two files in, then I think you would expect to, her to be able to open the new one and not be able to open the old one because behind the scenes, although Teams makes it elegantly just look automatical, behind the scenes, these are files with file with specific file permissions. And in fact, Let's go take a look now at the file permissions and confirm that that's really happening the way we think. I'm going to just hit refresh here for the sake of it, but let's see what has happened now. So I go to manage access and there's Deborah along with everyone else now. So again, I could have manually added her here. I chose to use uh, Teams to do that and life is good. And as you would imagine, if I open up and you know start a meeting again she should be able to see this just like everyone else all right um interesting scenarios occur of course when uh you want to remove people from chat so now i'm ready to remove deborah it tells you that she'll still have access to the chat history okay let's go ahead and remove her if i take a look at what she can see it says you can't send messages because you, I mean, make that a little bigger because you're not a member of the chat. But as that message just told me, she can still see the chat. And uh, if she tries to click this file, she can still open it. To me, that makes sense as well. Uh, team, I feel like Teams is saying, I'm not going to assume that just because you removed her from the chat, you want to remove her from every file in this chat that you've given her access to. Um, so kind of get that. Um, 
But of course, like everything else, if that was the case, I could certainly come into this file, um, manage access, and then here, just stop sharing for Deborah. Boom. Go back to Deborah. She tries to open it. She has no access. Okay. So, um, for some, especially having shown it to you this way, and if you've got an understanding of SharePoint and, and OneDrive, maybe this all makes perfect sense. I certainly have seen people get confused um, by this experience, thinking that adding someone to a chat is the same as adding them to all the previous files, um, or that removing them removes their access. So mm -hmm. Teams are certainly doing some, some magic on your behalf to make file sharing easier, but it's not I feel like it's just trying not to overly make too many assumptions about you know what you're trying to do here so the good news is you know all those scenarios are possible you know if adding subtracting people um, it's all possible it's just whether or not it'll happen kind of with the easy button in teams or whether I'll have to go over to my OneDrive account and do something a little bit extra to me is the thing of course the more people in this chat or the more I guess the you know if you're adding tons of people or removing tons of people then it starts to be a little more work I guess and maybe the one good practice then would be um, you know try to think ahead of time who I you know want to add first and then share so that I can let teams automatically adjust those settings versus sharing and then deciding who to add and so forth um it was it's asked uh, once she is removed she can't see any additional messages going forward correct only what she was able to see before she is she was removed that is correct and i want to show that because there's a funny scenario here well it was funny to me but i'm kind of a like, kind of geeky um so yes i removed her and then i tell everyone else finally i removed deborah <laughs> right so there's that. Um, if I go over to Deborah, right, she's gone from the chat. She didn't see that. You know, she doesn't even see um, Nestor, you know, say, you know, yay, right? It'd be a little awkward if she was to still be able to see that, right? And so she doesn't. But what if next week, we do decide she needs to come back into this convo. At this point, certainly, if if you were thinking correctly, knowing what's been said, let's make a new chat, right? But in this scenario, let's bring her back. We want to include all chat. Now, I certainly probably could bring her back, just show a, a day, but again, including all chat history for Deborah, will bring her back in and uh let her see all the pre as as you as i just said all the previous chat so again i'm just trying to keep you from an awkward situation here <laughs> so understand if you bring them back and give them full access to the chat they will uh they will get full access to the chat so um so keep that in mind but yeah good question uh on that but all that being said i mean i it, I, I like the flexibility that this gives for bringing people in and out um, and again, depending on how long this conversation goes over days or weeks, uh, that functionality becomes even more powerful. Maybe it's a, some kind of a big effort. You got to, you know, rally the troops for a while. You get everybody in and then maybe you can take several supporting cast members out, continue some conversation, then maybe need to bring them back in. But at that point, you know, hopefully I could just use the one day feature or something like that so they don't have to necessarily see everything. But in all that, again, if files are being shared, I uh, may need to manage them. And so just understanding that it's in my OneDrive, got full control of my OneDrive there. Um, and the files are, are you know, here, it, the file is here as well for really convenience. But again, it's it's still owned by, um, by you know, me, the one that shared it. Um, so that's Deborah's view of it. And then of course, my view of files um, as well. Okay, so again, there's not a lot of file permission or any really file permission buttons here. 
Teams kind of assumes you'll go over in the, to SharePoint slash OneDrive and get that done. Uh, does file sharing, does sharing a file within the files tab besides chat work the same way with permissions? Very good question. So again, we are in the one-to-one -one chat. In one-to-one -one chat, files are shared via our OneDrive account. In the Teams chat, I think that's what you're asking about, um, the, yeah, the files tab. In Teams, files are handled via SharePoint. So no OneDrive involved. So, so case in point, if you don't have OneDrive enabled, you can certainly chat here, but you can't do, you can't uh, upload or, or share files in your chat. However, again, still having OneDrive disabled doesn't mean you can't do files in Teams because Teams is using Share, uh, SharePoint and is not relying on your OneDrive account. So that's the difference, OneDrive versus SharePoint. But again, to your question, it still kind of works the same because, uh, you know, behind the scenes, if I open in SharePoint, SharePoint and OneDrive are you know, very, you know, close cousins. Like, you know, OneDrive is really a, a SharePoint site scoped to you essentially. But uh, same thing, right? A, a file with permissions and so forth. Now, while the file I shared in the chat is shared with the people, the individuals in that chat. By default, the files I share in in my team channel is shared with the team. And so it automatically gets these settings groups, right? Not individuals. These are the group members or, or members of the team, whether it be the owners of the team, the members, um, and I don't think visitors, uh, I mean, that might be someone you manually put, put someone into, but essentially members and, and owners are here. So when I'm sharing a file, members are already set to be able to view and edit any file in Teams by default and, and owners and so forth. Um, so it, it kind of works the same, except that you don't have the problem of, you don't have the very specific problem of, OK, I've shared a file today and now we've added a new member to the team. Do I need to reshare for that new member? No, because the sharing permissions that you gave to your file was to a whole group of people and that new person has been added to that group and then gets the rights of that group, which is read and edit capabilities on all files, you know, new and old, future, past and so forth. So that's the power, you know, that's always been a, a power in SharePoint in general of using groups for permissions rather than individuals is that, you know, new new individuals placed into the group get to inherit the, uh, the, the permissions of the group. So, so much more flexible there and uh, much more open, right? Team, teams is assuming that your file sharing in the team is meant for everyone all the time, current folks or new folks in the future. But as I've said, I think in previous uh, webinars, if by chance you don't want such an open permissions uh, culture, let's say, again, this is stored, this is just managed by SharePoint. I can certainly come here for any file or folder and decide that that file or folder will have you know, l less permissions than open to everyone. So I can I can blow it away the, the 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 setup Teams has created for me. I don't recommend that. Of course, Teams is doing a lot of good work for you, trying to take that uh, those uh, administrative duties out of your hands. But if you have a need, you certainly can. It's just not you're just not going to do all of that here in Teams. You're going to come over to SharePoint to do more of that surgical file permission uh, management. So hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, any any file I share here, adding a new person, they're going to scroll up and see all these files that have been shared, like this one from February, and they're going to be able to open that just fine, even though they're brand new to the team, unlike if they were brand new to a group chat. So that's a good question. Okay. So I thought that was a. Uh, uh, interesting scenario just because uh, I've seen folks um, um, have that confusion thinking something was wrong. 